Yeah, we just pulled this one up. We weren't going to pull this one, but we got two nice big males down there out of this pot. We're going to take this one out to the deeper water. That's why we decided to pull it. Right. Let's go. Now these pots have been down three or four days because we actually forgot to do them when we came out last time. We went right past them and didn't think about it. <laughs> but these are the uh, small neck ones that we made for last year. Actually. Don't pull them on the cover. It won't take long for that cover to fall apart, unfortunately. <laughs> right. We'll drift back with the pots. Come on, come on Tough Cookie. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> Grab that one. Okay, got it. Four days and zero and no bait. <laughs> They've all come in and got out again. Yeah, but these pots, they don't get out of that easy. There's no way they get out. That's why they catch well, because they just, once you get in a small hole like that, especially if you're a larger lobster. I don't know how much bait we put in them though. It wasn't massive. Maybe they've all gone to this one. Maybe it's like a bus party. You all start on one bus or two buses and then you end up all on the same bus. <laughs> or a completely different bus. <laughs> Now I'm actually surprised because I was expecting lobsters in these, in this area. It's always done quite well. But for three or four days, even an undersized one, but hmm. I think it's gonna be pulling this set, but it's gonna be a tough lift because we've got quite a bit of tide running at the moment. Even though it is low tide, you get this out here. But we can't do them later because we, we won't be here. Later we'll be the other end of the island. Well, not the other end of the island, but much further away. And it'll be getting pretty rough out here and the tide gets up. So let's see if we've caught anything out here in the deeps or the deeper part. That rope's not tied up though, eh? No. Just throw the bobbers. Do one at a time so they don't loop. Right, rope, I see it. Right. One baby lobster. After all that. Mind you, you do get the commercial here, so watched pretty heavily. in a bit I think. Large commercials here, I don't think anymore. Probably this way.
that rock was 18 yeah. Okay, let's go here. We'll take a turn higher up. Just stop it a minute. Came up a little bit there, but just don't get that right. I think that's the edge where I had the 13 loves as well. right in there that's where in the video where I have to get mine out when I go in amongst the rocks so that is it over there I have to go in there that will get thrown onto those rocks and I think that's that small boat so it's probably a single pond so if he leaves that there we get some rough weather it's game if I think it's actually moved even closer I don't put it that close because it's got even closer but it will work its way into those rocks go in there to get it out again Ooh, good luck with that Right, go, go, go.
much. Dolphins! Get your line over in the socket, get your line over. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool, eh? Oh, isn't that cool? I think he's gone down now. Might be chasing fish or something. There he is. There he is. It's a big dolphin. That's bottlenose. Sometimes you get the common dolphins, but. He's a bottlenose on that. Probably not going to show up well on the camera. Oh, over there, that's a different one, I think. Yeah, I think they're feeding around here. So I've just changed the battery, so... That's why we're all over the place with the filming at the moment. We have a nice big crab and a lobster, which might be size. Might be. Let's have a look. That's a good crab. Whoa, it's lively. Good
you want them and where, you know where to put them back because our bobbers are right on our left here. Yeah. Like trying to avoid getting snagged into them. <laughs> you off the bottom yet? You're on your own now. Shouldn't be jammed. There's nothing. The pots never really jam out. Here. Give me this. Take that. Take that. Take that. Heavy lobster. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> it was holding on to the sea bag. That's size as well. Whew. Doing it okay on the lobster front. We're in the bay. I'm glad we decided to pull these now. Otherwise, they'd have been sitting there for at least another day, possibly two, maybe three. Yeah. We don't know what we're doing yet. Fresh the bait up and still yeah, that's got the uh, cuckoo rasp tail. So that was worth holding on to that cuckoo rasp. You're not far. I see the pot. It's got a nice bit of kelp on it. Might be a lobster in that one as well. Looks suspicious at the back of the pot. Definitely an lobster in there. Not a big one. That's got to be the biggest eel ever. <laughs> Always go for the lobster because if the conger has a fit, even it's only a little one, but if it's a big one and had a fit, they can smash the uh, lobster up. Cooler. Not far under, but that'll be next year's. Whee! Off he goes. Maybe a couple of years. Yeah. Right. Eel time. Eel time. Go on, you got it, isn't it, that one? Again, keep the eye on that head. It might be little, but it can still get hold of your finger. goes Whee! he's on the surface that's yeah. weird right let's get these down done down 